we also have the federal government not renewing the health accord last year. So that, what does that mean for the provinces across the country? It means a 36 billion, billion, with a B and not an M hit, in terms of healthcare costs uh, for services for Canadians and for people in our country. And that is a heck of a hit, right? And, uh, and this is Harper. This is Harper. Now, it was started, it was started by the uh, federal liberals because uh, the federal liberals, when Martin was there, they started first with the federal transfer payment cuts. And many of you will remember that uh, we were in government then, the NDP was in government, and the federal transfer payment cuts hit us hard uh, in the healthcare uh, area, in the social services area, and now this is being carried on by the Harper government to the tune of some $36 billion. And let's be clear, healthcare impacts everyone. We know that, and for seniors, more so than ever. Uh, I myself, you know, as I'm getting older, uh, not quite to retirement, I have a long ways to go yet uh, to get there, but uh, I have noticed, right? My health, uh, you know, I'm visiting my doctors more often. I get these aches and pains, I got this cough that I had since December, and it took me two months to get rid of it, and then this week and it came back, and I'm like, oh no, God, what's wrong with me? And my immune system is weaker, and that's part of uh, part for the course too, right? As you get older, your uh, immune system is a little bit weaker, and so on and so forth. So healthcare is absolutely critical. And so remind people about the importance of that when you get out uh, to talk to folks uh, about the importance of voting and the protection of our healthcare system.